What's up, Space Cadets? This is KJ48, and welcome back to Empyreon Galactic Survival. And I'm out here collecting resources, and I just saw that wandering ship. It's so weird. It's such a mystery for me. I have, like, I've been playing this game since the beginning, and there's not much I don't know about it, at least not on the starting planets. Like, I don't, I haven't been to all the planets recently, and things change all the time. Uh, but as far as the starting planets go, I usually am not surprised, and I don't know what is the deal with this ship. I really don't. Uh, it's making me nervous. I, I haven't put up the first episode yet. So uh, if you guys told me about it, I haven't seen it yet. But I'm just kind of staying up here, avoiding it for now. Maybe I'll get a, a you know some kind of um, small vessel, a ship, go shoot it down at some point. I don't know. We're just going to kind of have to see how it goes. I can't wait to read the comments on the first episode. Uh, right now, I am having a serious hunger and, and healing issue. Uh, my bandages have all run out. Uh, I made I made a couple more. I have bandages right now, but that's because I made them. They all ran out, and I need plant protein for bandages, and I need plant protein for healing. So that's how I'm out here. I'm looking for plant protein as well as like anything else I can find, like these uh, plant fibers. And um, yeah, just trying to survive. We're gonna have a busy day today. Um, I've got to do a food. I went ahead and grabbed some silicon. I went over to the silicon place, and the ship was not there. So I grabbed some silicon, and we're gonna be building. Uh, well, we're gonna be using the the factory to make ourselves a hover vessel. And like I said, my buddy Madden, I said this last episode, he uh, turned me on to a good starter hover vessel. And I will show it to you when we're down in the base. Right now, I just kind of want to use this daytime. Uh, it's not really daytime anymore. I should get back to base, plant protein. All right, that should be enough, hopefully. And that iron deposit is my base. So that's pretty cool. I'm going to make a cool base out of this. I, I am, it's going to be awesome. Although I probably won't do too much base building until I get the upgraded drill. Because the drill I'm using right now is kind of is kind of shite, and the upgraded drill is kind of like whoa, like awesome. So I don't I don't remember how long it takes to get that drill though. I think I have to find a Promethean deposit to make the ammo for it. So you know we might put the we might put a little we're gonna do some base building. We're just not gonna go. Ooh, it's all red down here. <laughs> That's very uninviting <laughs> to my own base. Oh no, the reason it's red is because of my hunger, isn't it? That might be the case. I don't usually. Yep, that's gotta be hunger. All right, let's go ahead and eat. Yeah, man, we got a real problem here. Well, I wanted to make some more bandages, but now I think I'm just going to make more more of these um, energy bars. How about another five? And we'll take it from there. No, I'm still getting red. What is, is that? I'm not really sure why it's flashing red like that. that. I don't think that was hunger. Is it just from being like, oh, it's just the outside part, I guess. Like, anytime I go to, like, the entrance, it flashes red. That's weird. Look at that. I don't think that's anything to do with my character. I think that's just something weird going on with the game. But, all right. Well, it is what it is. We are inside. And let me show you this uh, hover vessel that I got off the uh, I got off the workshop. Uh, where's the hover vessel? F2. There we go. And we're going to go to hover vessels. And it's called the Elegancy. All right. And this is made. Does it tell you who it's made by? I don't know why it doesn't tell you who it's made by down here. If you look right here, you might be able to see the name. I wrote down the name. It's uh, by a, a Steam user named Crazy Z, And my friend Madden told me all his stuff is like just awesome. So what we're going to do is we're going to put this into the factory. And we are going to start adding stuff to it. First things first, I have to start refining stuff. Oh, I don't need iron. Well, I can, I can mine iron. The, the thing is I wanted as much silicon as possible. Because the idea is I can mine iron and uh, copper from my mine. So, like, the iron should be right here. There you go. There's the iron. So, I'm going to go ahead and... Um, oh, also, I have some stuff in here that I'm not sure if I want to keep or not. Like, I feel like capacitor devices are something I'm supposed to keep. Maybe not computers, though. Um, I definitely don't need to keep optic, um, optical fibers. Although, I am going to want to make other things. Like, I'm going to want to make a... Um, I'm going to want to make base components, and this stuff will be useful for base components. So I think I'm just going to keep everything for now. Uh, it's all going to be useful when making a base. And I do want to get up a starter base. The starter base will basically be a platform with, like, a constructor on it. Because there's a lot of stuff I can't make until I get an upgraded constructor. But I also, be when I make the base, I want to make the base ready to, to defend. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go to base, and we're going to look at some stuff we want to unlock. All right, we're going to need a small generator. Uh, we don't need no tea station. We are going to need a fuel tank. Uh, we probably won't make it, be making the base today, but who knows? Maybe we will. Uh, small constructor. 
cargo boxes, food processor, and sentry gun and projectile turrets. The projectile turrets are what have saved me. Also, I'm going to come here to tools and make some... Oh, i got to be level 7 for that. Okay. Fair enough. I was going to make some lights. I can make the portable work lights. I just don't think they're that good. It is the next morning, and I've come up here because I've got to collect some stone. Uh, when you're making ores, you kind of want to keep your stone in a separate storage container because um, what'll happen is, like, let's let's say you set up, like, you want to make, like, iron ore, right? And you're like, you're not going to do the math and figure out exactly how much iron ore. At least I don't. So, like, if I have iron ore, I set it up to make, like, 500. And then, like, when it makes, like, the 120 to 200, whatever it makes, it'll just stop making it. That way it's quick and easy. The problem with that, though, is if you're asking it to make iron and it has stone, it'll turn stone into iron ore. Inventory's full. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm over encumbered. Um, yeah, what it'll do is it will... It will take the stone and make iron ore and then make the iron ore into ingots. So you really want to keep your uh, your stone in a different spot. Also, if you press F6, it cycles through the HUD. So I kind of lost my iron deposit there for a minute. But um, the HUD gets pretty pretty busy when like you got all these things on there like iron deposits and all that stuff. So, Alright, now why am I collecting stone? Why do I need stone so much? Well, we need stone for a thing called carbon substrate, I think it's called. And we're going to need that for this starter hover vessel. A lot of these... A lot of these start... Oh, look at that. That's a world thing right there. Let me take that out of there. It's bothering me. Like a world split. I don't like that. Uh, and then I gotta pick up this stuff. Okay, well, let's just put this in here. And let's make some carbon substrate. I, I think... Is that plastic? Or... Like, what? what is that exactly? What is that supposed to be? I'm not really sure. Um, it's basically... It seems like a cheap way uh, to make starter hover vessels. Like, this is a starter hover, hover vessel I'm going for. So that's why I'm doing it. Also, I took this um, I took this portable work light, and it's not that good, really. It's um, here I'll put it down and show you. There you go. So I mean, it might be better outside, but there's a kind of like haze to it. I'm not sure if that's the light or the planet. It could be the planet. I won't know until I get better lights down here. But I don't know. I'm hoping it's the light. I really am. Uh, so we're gonna put that in there. We're gonna put that in there because we don't need it. And we are going to wait for that. That should be enough, actually. And then we're going to grab that carbon substrate. We're going to hit F2. And we're going to dump it all in there. 140? Yeah, we just need six more. And we also need copper, silicon, and iron. Uh, yeah, that should be good. Copper, silicon, and iron. Uh, there we go. Nope, that's not, <laughs> it's not copper, silicon, or iron. All right, so we need... 82 iron normally I would just throw like all the iron in there because I build a lot of the stuff out of the factory If you put more iron in here than you need it'll like just save it for your next project But because it's early game and I'm kind of like low on resources. I'm gonna be a little bit careful uh, Copper 128. Oh crap. I don't have copper. Okay. Thought I had enough for everything, but apparently not. That's okay. I can get more copper uh, 113 so we want to do 128, right? Uh, God, I should have just done this. <laughs> should have just done that. Right, let's put all the copper in there. Let's grab six more of this. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Put that in there. Put that in there. That in there. And then we're going to put that in there. And all I got to do is go get the uh, remaining copper. So I have the copper I need now. So let's go ahead and put it in here when I need another 40-something. Uh, there we go. 17... 23, 6, 28, there we go, beautiful, dump that in there, and we have everything we need, let's go ahead and start production, alright, it's instant, so it's done, and let's get up there and place it, alright, so now we have a way to get around a lot easier, now I have a decision to make, do I want to continue improving my situation here, or do I want to continue with the quest line, I think I'm going to probably continue with the quest line, uh, let's go ahead and spawn this bad boy. And there we go. Why is it floating? Probably shouldn't be floating. It's kind of weird. Uh, let's get in. Uh, if we can get in. How do we get in? <laughs> um, oh, okay. Hold on. Oh, there we go. It came down. F to pilot. There we go. Oh, wow. This thing's cool. Press V and go into third person mode. Yep, this thing's pretty dope. Let's take a look and see what it's got in it. Station services. There is no base with the station service near by reputation with at least neutral. Wow, okay, that's new to me. Um, all right, devices. Let's take a look at devices. 
Ammo box, cool. Cargo box. Cargo box probably doesn't hold that much. Um, how do I get into it? Does this thing have to be on for me to get into it? No, I just hit the access thing. Oh, 3188? That's pretty good. That's pretty freaking good, actually. So this thing can hold a, a relatively decent amount for what it is. It's got some thrusters. The equipment are armor locker, detector, wireless can... Oh, this is great. This is great. It's got fridges. This is really good. Damn. Spotlight. Okay, cool. I'm a fan. Now, I'm kind of sitting here debating whether I want to go along with the you know game's storyline or if I want to build up my base. Now, the thing is, I've made the best guns I can. I have a pistol and a shotgun. The pistol's kind of garbage. The shotgun's not too bad. Uh, I don't know how long I can go along this quest line without, without having better weapons. In order to get better weapons, you're looking at grinding, building up a base, and getting some turrets on the base, and then putting down a constructor and working from there. I think for the rest of this video, I'm going to do my best, you know, to try and uh, go along with the quest line. And then I think next video, we're going to do some base building. So let me go ahead and put some fuel in this bad boy. One thing is 10. Let's put in two for 20. All right. Never use more fuel than you need to. And we're going to go ahead and go to the new settlement and work on this uh, base. I usually like to uh, work on this quest line. I usually like to stay in first person when I can. Because the immersion factor is through the roof. The problem is, I could see a lot more stuff out like this. And I need to stop off for more plant protein. That's another thing with starting the base. If I start the base... Oh yeah, see, that's going to be a problem. That's going to be a problem. Anytime I get out of there, it throws me up in the air. And because I don't have a... Um, because I don't have a... Uh, what do you call it? A, a suit? I can't slow down my... Descent. Yeah, descent. So, that kind of sucks, but... I guess I'm just going to have to deal with it for now. I wonder if there's an easier way to get out without flying up in the air like that. Oh, I didn't fly up in the air that time. Okay. It usually happens when people put stuff over top of the um, the cockpit part of the, the ship. I mean, this... Oh, I don't know what that was. I'm getting out of here. The cockpit part of the ship... Oh, this thing has guns. I forgot. I don't make any ammo for it, though, so it's fine. Let's go ahead and ping that. This thing... The, the, the detectors that go on the... The small vessels are freaking... Or, no, this is a small vessel. Sorry, hover vessels. I guess small vessels can get them, too. They have huge range. Huge range. And I think this thing can hover over water, but I'm, I don't feel comfortable enough doing it. So, I'm, I've had hover vessels sink. So, yeah, I don't think I want to... I don't think I want to chance that if I don't have to. And apparently I don't have to. So, we're going to go check out the settlement and keep a lookout for plant protein. I'm probably going to end up passing by a lot of the plant protein. I'm, I'm not going to get out for every individual piece. But, I think, is there a way for me to, is it control? Yeah, control. Control, you can zoom around and also zoom in. Page up and down will bring you up and down. So that should be a bit of a, how do I get back to it? There we go. That's weird. No, it is alt. It is alt, not control. All right, whatever, it's fine. There is a, a spider nest right there. So we're just going to kind of ignore that. Hopefully it doesn't cause us any uh, issues. My anxiety levels are already through the roof, so it would be wonderful if it didn't cause me any more issues. Plant green. Okay, we got all that. Very good. All right, get back in that sucker. And we're going to give that thing a wide berth. It'll attack my ship. I don't think the spiders can really do much to your ship, but they do attack it, and that bothers me. Looking around, there's the settlement. And these are the Talon. These guys are cool. These guys are cool. They're going to be our friends. Uh, we need to find the entrance. Of course, I went around the, long, the wrong way. You discovered a new faction, the Talon faction. Hell yeah, I did. Hell yeah, I did. Let's shut this thing off. Why is it to turn the power off? Please don't fly up. Okay, cool. I don't mind flying to the side. All right, so... We got, our, we got our new faction here. Let's take a look at it really quickly. Uh, it's right up here. Talon. We are neutral. They got these little dog things. I used to have to fight those dog things a lot. They're, they're not enemies in here yet. You could take some of their stuff, but the problem is you, then they'll get angry at you, whether they see you or not. All right. May the voices of past lead you to wisdom. How may I help you? Uh, you do not seem to be surprised. We have met others of your Terran species a while ago. And yes, our settlement may look primitive, but we are not primitives. 
uh, we have intentionally chosen this life. Very good. If you were falsely led to believe we are just a primitive tribe, then this is proof we have succeeded. We spent an era cultivating this falsehood. Oh, you guys are sneaky. Our, our, our ongoing efforts to hide our knowledge and talents from dot 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 others is how we would have it. Okay. You people came here about a year ago. They fought with the Xerox patrols in orbit and some of the vessels crashed on this planet. We have helped them survive. Oh, darn it. I skipped that by accident. We helped them survive something else, something else. Uh, so please pardon our curiosity, but what are you still doing here? How did you manage to escape the Xerox patrols for so long? Technical troubles with a warp anomaly. That's interesting what you say. This has been reported since there is, or maybe, hmm, I wonder if that... <laughs> the following might sound strange to you, but may I ask... But may I ask you to buy one sprout from the trader? Yeah, I gotta buy a, sco a sprout from the trader. Uh, this is basically, doesn't make any sense really, but it's basically the game teaching you that, hey, these guys are traders, and you could buy stuff from them. Okay, so what sprout should I buy? I forget which one I like to buy. Does it tell you what you can get from it? Um, you can get different stuff from these things. So it'll tell you, um, crop type mushrooms, crop type plant fibers, vegetables, natural sweetener. I think we have protein right isn't one of these that can be protein yeah there we go it also tells you the crop yield how long it'll take to grow i forget which one of these i like the most well we definitely want plant protein so let's take a look at that um by the way you have cash on hand i'm uh, sorry you have bank balance and then cash on hand i have cash on hand so i'll be using that grain fruit okay so there's a plant protein herbal leaves berries fruit these things are all useful plant fibers Mushroom spice stimulant, natural stimulant, but okay. So he's only got one that does plant fire, that only one that does plant protein. So I will buy that. Hmm, interesting choice you made. While I speak to the elders' council about your case, there's a little favor I might ask of you before further talks. Our crop fields are repeatedly getting attacked by spiders. Um, yeah, go, go stop the spiders. Yes, got it. All right. Oh, you give me some medical supplies. Cool. What do you give me? First of all, I do have some bandage. Oh, cool. So you give me bandages. Good. So now I got a decent amount of bandages. Um, so when I get home, I'll use most of the plant protein I got for, for uh, more energy bars. All right. Go to the monument. Okay, so we have to head over to the monument, which uh, we actually kind of passed on the way here. I think it's this one right here. Yep. There we go. We just got to go to this monument and check it out. We gotta, we gotta check it out. Kill some spiders, probably. Okay. And... Oh, no. Hurt, hurt. I'm gonna get hurt. Darn it. I need a... I need a... I think next episode, the first thing I want is a freaking suit. Because with a suit, I have jetpacks. And when a thing throws me into the air like that, I could just kind of, you know, come down. Kill spiders. All right, I will. They're falling out of the freaking sky. Come on, bro. I'm right here. The shotgun's probably the best early game... Not probably. The shotgun's the best early game weapon. It's probably even better than the assault rifle. The thing is, it has no range. Because, you know, it's a shotgun. But, yeah. Oh, here we go. You can most of the time one-shot these spiders. If you do, con if you do shift F, you auto-loot. But it only works on, like, enemies like that. Um, certain things. You can't do it. I don't think you could do it with, like, um, storage or anything, like chests. You're going to want to loot those, though, because they are going to give you... F they are going to give you meat that you can turn into uh, food. Well, they're going to give you meat that you can cook, basically. All right, we need to kill some more spiders. So let's take a look around this thing. Hello, spiders. Where are you? Old Cage is here to hang out. We're going to be best friends. That's right. Where are you going? The AI is pretty smart. Uh, well, the spider AI, the animal AI is pretty smart. Um, I don't know about the actual, like, humanoid AI. Uh, if you start, if you, like, wound them really bad, they'll start to run away. Which I think is pretty, pretty clever. Pretty clever spiders. Alright, where's the last one, man? I've already been around this thing. Oh, there he is. And there he isn't anymore. Oh, boy, more spiders. Oh, boy, get out of there. Oh, no. No! Freaking punk ass freaking spiders. Where's the other ones? 
Jeez, I feel like I'm surrounded now. All right. <laughs> I didn't panic. You panicked. Oh, hello. As I shoot my own ship. All right, gotta go back and speak to the chief. Cool. That used to be a lot harder. They used to have these like blue spiders in there that could actually shoot crap at you. It was pretty nasty. They definitely made that a little bit more manageable. It's like the first like quest combat in the game. Definitely take it easy on the new players. All right, drop this and get out. Uh, nope, that's not too bad. Okay, put this gun away so nobody thinks of. <laughs> Look at your crossbows. That's cute. That's adorable. Probably do a lot of damage with them, actually. Excellent. We think you have proven your worth. Now you should learn more about the threat. For now, please find a way inside the Monument Tower and go to its very top. There you'll find an inscription plate. Although the monument is very old, the plate has been revealed only recently. Exposed, exposed by the shockwaves of the destroyed vessels crashing onto the ground. This plate is important evidence of a tale of the distant past. Okay. We were not able to follow its trace to its very end for some sad reasons. Okay. Guess you're not going to elaborate. Every brave, brave talent warrior that has tried it... Oh, I guess he is going to elaborate. Was either killed by the Xerox or never seen again. But we are confident... <laughs> but we are confident you will find answers. Okay. You don't even know me. We cannot stress enough... We cannot stress this enough, but this information has utmost importance for every living being on this planet and every other planet. Okay, got it. All right, so it's the most important thing in the history of the world. All right, what does this guy want to talk about? What do you want to talk about, bro? Nothing? Why does he have a little thing over his head? Is that just because he's a traitor? Probably. Yeah, I think you can only sell to these guys items that they have, by the way. Like, if you have a gun, you can't sell to this guy because he doesn't have guns. I guess different traitors deal in different, you know things all right i screwed up on a couple of occasions here and i'm gonna tell you guys so hopefully you don't make the same mistakes i did um it was nothing was catastrophic but it was just little little mess ups here and there that i want to go over uh once we get to the monument so first of all i didn't bring my tent with me if you bring your tent with you you can skip the night anywhere anytime as long as there's no enemies in the area now i don't know if there's any enemies in the area maybe i wouldn't be able to skip the night but it would have been nice to have the tent you know so i didn't have to go all the way home to skip the night but I didn't, so it is what it is. The second mistake I made, you can make a suit, you can make a, a light armor suit so easily, it's not even funny. Not, not only can you make, now the thing is, making the light armor suit is actually a lot easier than the armor locker. You can't put the armor suit on without the armor locker, okay? Armor lockers are a little bit tougher. But the thing is, this, this uh, vessel I made comes with an armor locker. So what I'm going to do is, I, I'm, I'm not sure how to change a suit. Like this, um, access. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Now we have now we have armor on. Okay. Now we have all kinds of armor resistance to cold, heat, radiation. I have a jetpack. The jetpack is what I really wanted, so I don't take damage when I get out of vehicles or you know if I end up falling. There we go. All right. Oop. Hold on. Lot of spiders. Little dirty ass spiders, man. You guys going to go away? You know, I'm not going to complain. All right, well, <laughs> you know what? I won't complain, and I'm going to go over the third thing I did that was a mistake. All right? When you when you sleep through the night in this game, things happen. It's not like, you know, in, like, the infected where everything just stops, you know? Uh, is my jetpack on? J, there we go. Now I have a jetpack. Okay. So, in most games, and I, and I know the infected... Oh, what is that? Oh, okay. I, I never noticed there was a loot down here. Maybe there never was, but there is now. Cool. Got some barrels. Um, yeah, so when, basically what happened was I kept the meat in my inventory. And the meat, uh, I cooked it into like these like steaks. And steaks don't really last that long. And then I slept through the night and then they spoiled. Like everything spoiled. So, bit of a mistake there, but... You know, I don't think it's going to end me or anything. I can, I can make up for it. The only thing I'm... Whoa! Okay, so this is all new. There, there was never any loot in this thing before. And now there's like actually a decent amount. Well, that's cool. Um, yeah, the other thing is I need to like protect my hover vessel. And I don't have any way of doing that, unfortunately. It's the same sack, right? I think they're all the same sack. 
Yeah. Um, I don't have any, I think these are all the same things, actually. Like, I think these are all the same inventory. Maybe. Uh, you know, I'm kind of curious. Yes, they are. Okay. That's what I thought. So, yeah, I gotta, like, man, I really gotta do base building next episode. Faux show. We got an alien container. Oh, my God. Assault rifle tier two. Um, and a projectile pistol, pistol tier two. That's awesome. I will not be able to carry all this stuff. I can almost guarantee you that magnesium powder. Oh, never mind. It's not as heavy as I thought. Cool. I wonder if they messed around with the weights, because I thought before that would have been too heavy for me. All right. So we got the shotgun. We, we don't have any ammo for the assault rifle, so I won't put it down there. But we do have a nice pistol here. It zooms in and everything. That is, that is a really, really nice find. Wow. Okay, well, this is all new to me. I'm glad they put some loot up here. This place used to just be a boring tower. Like, there was nothing to it. But now it's an exciting tower. Whoa! Son of a bitch. Freaking spider. Uh, there we go. Alright, I didn't get any diseases or anything, thank God. Uh, and you notice I'm getting, like, faction for killing these, these spiders too, right? Like, I'm making everyone very happy. Mostly the... Actually, I'm not, I'm not really noticing who, who I'm getting factioned with, but I know I'm getting some faction. Anytime you go into a, uh, friend, like a territory and kill their enemies, you get faction. Makes sense, right? Okay. Now I'm on edge. I didn't think there'd be a bunch of spiders up here. There usually isn't. Never was any time I've done it. I've done this a million times. Think there's anything over here? This is a really, it was a really good idea to make the suit before I came up here, guys. And I suggest you do the same. Because if you fall off this thing, and it would be very easy to fall off this thing. If you don't have a suit, you're dead. If you have a suit, turn the jetpack on, you're good to go. Alright, so there we go. We got the legacy. I'm not seeing anything else up here. Now I could probably just jump off the side here and land okay. But I think I'm going to be a little bit careful here. Uh, is there any way to get that off the screen, or do I have to actually click on the, the tablet or whatever? No. I just have to wait for the quest update. Alright, so now we have to find the second tower. Well, I am done with the monument, and now we need to go check out a second tower. An ancient tower. Ooh, fancy schmancy. I am going to call this one here, and I am going to hesitantly say... I think between this and next video, I'm probably going to get a, a small vessel. Uh, small vessels are basically, um, like ships they're flying spaceships basically but they're small versions there's like small vessels and then there's capital vessels uh so what i could do is i could come in here and i could switch to small vessels and here's some of the small vessels um there's a a decent one right here um but i'm gonna look for one that's player made um this one is probably the best not player made one that i would get it's a pretty it's a pretty solid vessel and i might actually start i might actually start the base i'm not really sure guys it, I have three things I want to do. I want to get a small vessel. I want to start the base. And I want to go do this ancient tower. I think the base is probably going to take precedence though. I'm thinking base, small vessel. And we will probably get on back on with the quest line in the video after that. But let me know in the comments. What do you guys like to see most in this game? Because I'm making these videos for you. And I'd really like to know what you want to see. But anyway guys. If you end up enjoying the video. Please remember to uncage that like button. Also if you're new here. Please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then. Take it easy.